Welcome back to another build order guide. Today we're going to talk about TVT. Uh, these mirror matches are always uh, the kind of uh, most difficult to have a plan for. So I'll show you what I've been doing. I'm copying a build off of Maru right now where he gets eight very quick cyclones to keep map control and then he does a bio push so the mid to late game of this uh, replay is a little bit uh, funky we go into uh, he comes in and tries to take my third out a little bit but uh, you'll see that the opener is actually very clean and it does exactly what I want it to do and just better control would be better I'll put the build order in the link down below but uh, let me explain what's going on so Against Terran, you never really want to wall off because they could put a siege tank down at the bottom and start shelling away at your building. So you kind of want to put him back in and make him kind of overextend up in. But it's going to go depot into gas before barracks. I always put the barracks at a place that is going to deny a reaper to come in because that's just one less uh, spot that you have to worry about defending later. So I put my barracks up here for this map. Um, at 17 supply, I send an SCV across the map to do some scouting information to see if he's going to take his expansion quickly or if he's going to get a factory first, or if he's going to be taking extra gases, or basically what he's doing. So always I send this out at 17. He's got an SCV coming in here too, basically just trying to check to see if my buildings are all in my base. Um, but I've got... Uh, it's not that important. There's little details about if, if you're looking for a much higher level detail. That's different, but uh, I do a Reaper Expand. And I know that this is a very greedy build, which is why I try to get, uh, I play defensively with my first Reaper. And at the same time, I'm over on his side of the map trying to delay, see what's going on. So this is just a little cheeky thing that I do. Since I send this SCV across the map, I uh, attack move the SCV that's building his command center to delay it if he's trying to do a fast expand as well. Then I can also get some scouting information, see what's going on here, see what his next building is going to drop. But uh, I'm going to go basically... Uh, factory first. My reaper is going to stay at home in case he tries to send a reaper across because uh, I usually lose this SCV over here. I, I try to keep it alive but it's not uh, it's not as easy. I don't have that kind of crazy APM. So I don't want to just let him do whatever he wants. I still need to get some scouting information but the reaper versus repo, reaper micro in TBT is uh, it's very APM intensive and there's a whole meta behind sending it out with that SCV across the map. Usually you get the SCV that is sent first, you pair it with this Reaper, and then it kind of screws up the AI's auto-targeting, so they have to like actually click the, the Reaper to attack it. But I'm not getting that detailed into this build today. This is just my general idea of what I'm trying to do. So as soon as the barracks is finished, um, you're going to switch the factory and the... Uh, so you want to be uh, chronoing out two uh, Hellions first, and we're going to start an immediate tech lab. So until this point, I've just been pretty passive. I've sent one SCV across the map to make sure he's not doing any kind of like three barracks or proxy or anything like that. But as soon as you get your Hellions out, you're going to start two Cyclones and then stim with your next 100 gas. So you'll see as soon as I get 100 gas here, I got the minerals, and then stim should start right now. Boom. Uh, uh, there it is. So... I, I go across the map with these Hellions and the Reaper. This is my first kind of scout to see what's going on, and this is where I get my first uh, information of what I'm looking at. So if I can get some kills, that's fantastic. Basically what this is for is to just make sure that he can't pick off one of my units. So you can see I don't get any damage done, but I don't lose any of my units. I'm going to try to make him uh, chase me across the map, and at the same time I've got my Cyclones coming out. At this point, you're going to start a third Cyclone, and you're going to drop two more Barracks. This is getting into your transition point of uh, getting into a, uh, a Bio Push. So you're going to start, get two Cyclones out, start another Cyclone, get two uh, Barracks, and then you're going to start a fourth Cyclone as soon as you have the resources for it. There it is. So as soon as I had 150 Minerals, I started another Cyclone. And now I'm going to go across, and I want to, again, keep some map control. So I just want to make sure that he's not moving out, he's not got any weird banshees or anything like that, and he is, you know, kind of staying in his base. So I see that he's got some cyclones out as well, but I'm just trying to keep him, keep him contained. I've got a fifth, uh, there's my, I think my third, let's look at units right now, so there's my third cyclone. 
there's my fourth cyclone, and I've got five, six on the way. So at this point, your barracks should just be finishing up. As soon as these barracks finish, I'm going to go two NG bays, which is going to be uh, used for upgrades. And I'm not going to start doing any uh, uh, additions of these wrecks yet. I'm just going to start making units. I'm still making a bunch of drones at this time, and I'm going to open up my two gas with these two uh, NG bays. Same time, again, I'm just still across the map trying to make sure that he can't move out, seeing what kind of composition he's going for. Starting to build my wall. I've got two SCVs down here. Now, usually what I do is as soon as this uh, second... Um, so in, in my build order, I do it a little bit differently because I place my buildings way over here. So my building placement on this was kind of bad, but um, everything should be a little bit closer. What I usually do, as soon as this sixth cyclone pops, you're going to pick up this factory and drop a tech lab, and then you're going to put one of these barracks onto this reactor so you can start making uh, one, one, two, three uh, marines at a time, and then you're going to start a new reactor on this barracks. So you're going to want to have one tech lab, two reactors. So uh, Stim is finishing. As soon as Stim finishes, you're going to get plus one, plus one, and then you're going to start combat shield with your new gas. So I've got about 300 gas banked up right now, and you'll see as soon as I'm getting got plus one started, I've got combat shield started, I've got plus two started. And as soon as I have those three, if I moved this early enough and started my tank when I should have, <laughs> I should have a, uh, um, I should have by 7 minutes 30 seconds two tanks and a whole bunch of bio with 1-1. One, one. Now, as soon as you start, yeah, I'm just doing, I'm just kind of keeping map control over here. It's not so important. I want to talk more about the build. But as soon as you get your first tank started right here, I kind of realize I'm a little bit late. Um, you want to get your starport. And then when you do your starport, you're going to want to expand out to your third. So it's a little bit of a late expansion, but in TBT, you can't be super greedy um, at the moment. So I've just got my, my units over here trying to keep him in his base, and he's doing a very similar expansion timing as I am. So I should be expanding out here. Yeah, there's my, there's my click for it right now. And then we start a uh, starting another barracks out here on this one. So this, I'm going to get an instant reactor on my uh, starport, and I want to make two medevacs as soon as I can. Again, I'm pretty late with these tanks, so this is one of the reasons that the mid-game gets a little bit funky, but as you can see, I'm not letting him do anything. I picked off the SCV that was building this command center to delay his command center more, and I'm just trying to, uh, as much as possible, keep, keep pressure on my side of the map. So 1's 1 is about finishing, and you'll see right at 7.30, I'll have 1-1 one, one and... Uh, finished up and if I was <laughs> if I was on my build if I wasn't uh, bad at <laughs> at this build I would have two tanks and then two uh, starports I wanted to I was debating doing a, a perfect build against an easy computer but I kind of like giving these live games that show you a little bit more of what I'm doing with my units instead of just making stuff so you can actually see what's going on so yeah right here about 7.30, this is when I should have my uh, medevacs popping. I'll have two tanks, put the tanks in the medevac, and then go across the map to the third and hit about eight minutes Is my was my target. But I'm still just working up. I'm going to drop an... Uh, I drop double armory on this. Usually you don't. Um, the timing is as soon as you start your second tank, you drop your armory. And then it should line up perfectly to you have 1-1 one, one finished, and then you can start 2-2 two, two right away. But, yeah, you'll see he's going to move out now. He's been stuck in his base. He's going super mech. Just a bunch of factories and stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't really matter for my bio push. But this is the gist of my opener. So it goes, right now you get uh, six cyclones. I've lost a couple right now. But you get six cyclones. And then you transition into a bio push. And the bio push should be at 1-1. One, one. Uh, at se 7 minutes and 30 seconds, it should be 1-1, one, one, combat shield stim, and you should have two tanks, two medevacs, and a, and a heap of marines. And after that, it's kind of whatever the you want to do, the sky's the limit. You should have a third base down. For me, usually I make a planetary fortress at my third if I'm not, like, super, super far ahead, just because I kind of want this as the anchor. And um, you'll see, but let's just kind of play through the rest of the, the match really quick so you can see kind of uh, my, my control... You should always have, before you move out, you should send out a couple marines to scout, which is what I'm doing right now. I've got marines going to basically all of these points here, but I see him moving into my, my third, so I'm a little bit late on my scouting marines. I'm 
just waiting for. I don't want to push into that. I want him to come over to me. I'll lose this base. I've had this base longer than he has, so I'm not super worried about uh, not super worried about losing it. I'm just wanting him to push across over here. He can take out my gases. That's fine. This is this is a bit of a misclick though. Me rallying that in. Yeah, I'm just trying to get more and more. More and more units out. So he feels pretty comfortable and he wants to go home. So now that I've got my control again, I've got my, my side of the base again, you'll see I'm just going to kind of move out. So let's take a look at what's going on. He's only got, uh, he's got 50 workers to 50 workers. He's got a third base up and mining, but uh, I'm starting to work towards 2-2. And I'm going to do a 2-2 timing after this. So usually what I do is if I'm not 100% confident with my engagement, I will wait until an upgrade is finished, and then I will move out with that upgrade. So I'm getting 2-2-1-1 with uh, both of my armories. So I've got a massive upgrade timing that I'm just going to walk across the map, and I'm going to go try to take his third now. So 2-2 two is about to finish up, and then I'll be across the map, getting some liberators so I can you know, do some sieges. And keep him away since he's got a lot of tanks. I'm going to start 3-3 three, three as soon as I can. And then just win from upgrades. So again, I just have a plan. This is this is what I'm going to do. I get a siege tank and a dangerous spot to make him overextend. And then I'll stim in onto all of his tanks before they are. So he's got a bunch of Hellions. And now I'm going to stim forward onto his tanks. There it is. That's why you get the 2-2 two, two timing. So, I wasn't too worried when he was taking my third. I had vision of what he was doing, and I was like, okay, I can still recover with a 2-2 one, one, two, two timing. He's not an amazing, amazing player. So now I'm just going to keep pushing it with my 2-2. Two, two. I'm going to uh, leapfrog my tanks forward, and I'm just rallying units across the map so I get more and more in. I'm going to take off his... Uh, I'm going to try to take his, his uh, tech lab off his factories. Any of his uh, attachments, or what are they called, the uh, um, add-ons for these is what I want to try to take out right now, his production. But before he gets to the tank. Yep. Now it's just <coughs> me playing the, playing the game, slowly busting in. He's got a third down here, but... It's not going to be. It's not going to be useful for a long while. <coughs> He's got widow mines, I see. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to walk into his widow mines. I'm going to walk around back towards his mineral line and kill it. Do a scan and let my tanks take care of his widow mines. He's trying to get some tanks up behind this, which is the smart thing to do. But at this point, he's down 36 workers. I've killed 25 of his workers. Got more and more units coming in, more and more tanks. He can't move forward. I see him come down with tanks, and now it's time to stim. This is what I wanted. As soon as he gets his tanks moving forward and tries to put them in the position he wants, I stim in and try to take him out. Not the best engagements, not the best trades, but it does the job. So, to recap, we've got six Cyclones into a bio push with 1-1 one, one timing. If you do it perfectly, if you watch my... Uh, if you read the... Build order in the comments, you'll see it'll get two tanks and two uh, Stargate, two medevacs with an armory behind it so you can start 2-2 two, two with a third at seven minutes uh, so you can actually move across the map, get some damage done, and then come back home to 2-2 two, two and a third base. So it's actually a very, very strong uh, timing for Terran. I, I hope this gives you some direction with your TVT matches. Um, it's basically all about map control and about, <clears throat> you know, making sure that you can securely take your third safe. And I didn't do that in this match, but I kind of got the, I showed you the basic idea of what I want to do. And if I had, let's go look at 7 minutes 30. If I did my build perfectly, 7 minutes 30 seconds right here when I would have had, let's see how much different this would have been if I had two tanks and two medevacs right now starting to walk across the map at 8 minutes if I was pushing in. Let's see where we are at 8 minutes. 
Eight minutes. Yeah, eight minutes. He still hasn't moved out. But I would have had two siege tanks, two medevacs, and the cyclones at his third base. It would have just been walking in. So again, just not the most, not the cleanest, not the crispest, crispest uh, build I've done in the past. But it really does the job, and uh, it's put me up into diamond. So I've been doing very well against Terran recently. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.